We have all heard the headlines. AI that's biased, that spreads misinformation or leaks sensitive data. In a world where AI is rapidly becoming the backbone of modern business, how do we ensure it's reliable, humanized and responsible? Is there a better way to build AI agents that avoid these pitfalls from the get-go? That's where Lizer.ai comes in. A low-code enterprise agent platform designed to build AI agents that are not only powerful but also safe and human-like. This is the Agent Studio, a no-code or low-code environment that lets you create, deploy and manage AI agents quickly, even if you're not a coding expert. Built for developers and business users alike, Lizer addresses the core concerns. Reliability, user-friendly interactions and data protection. Let's pause on why these features matter so much. When businesses adopt AI, they worry about reliability. Can we trust the model's output? Human-like interactions. Will the AI frustrate or confuse users? Safety and compliance. What if it leaks personal data or breaks regulations? Responsibility. Could it generate biased or harmful content? Lizer tackles these head-on with built-in responsible AI and safe AI mechanisms. Now let's take a quick tour of the Lizer Agent Studio. You can go to lizer.ai and get started with a free account. Once you are in, you will see a dashboard like this. At the top we have Home, then we have Agents where we can create all of our agents. Then we have Knowledge Base. Here we can create our own knowledge base with our personal documents and we can give this knowledge base to the agents. Next, we have models. Currently, OpenAI, AWS Bedrock, Anthropic and Google LLM models are available on Lizer and I believe they'll keep on adding more models in the future. Next, we have tools. We can attach any of these tools visible on the screen to our AI agent. Next, we have data connectors. This is where we can manage connections to our external data sources and services. Right now, only VB8 is available and Quadrant is going to be enabled soon. And finally, we have App Store. Now, App Store contains AI agents built by other people and they're available for us to use with just a button click. Now, first, let's go to agents and create a new agent and see what makes Lizer AI different from other platforms. This is the dashboard for creating the agent. Here we can give the name of the agent, then description, and then we can select the LLM provider. Right now, OpenAI, Anthropic, and Google are available. And I believe in the future, they'll add more models. I'd love to see open source models like Llama 3 over here. Next, we need to define the agent role. So here we need to define the primary role of the agent. For example, you are an expert customer support agent. Your role is to understand customer queries and provide the right answers. And then you need to give a detailed instruction. You can think of it as a system prompt. Here you can define how agent should think or process the queries and what kind of responses it should generate or any specific things that you want to be included in the response or to be omitted from the response. Next, we have section for adding tools. Now this is where we can add all the tools that we saw to this particular agent. For example, if I connect GitHub over here, I'll click on add. And then it will take me to this page, sign me in, get some permissions, and then the agent will be able to take actions on GitHub. Similarly, we can add Slack, Discord, ClickUp, or any of these tools listed over here to our agent. And then agent will be able to take actions on all of these platforms. And then in the example section, we can give sample outputs. That will give direction to this agent on how it should structure the responses. And then on the right hand side, we have these amazing features which are not available on other no-code AI agent platforms. For example, responsible AI and safe AI. At the top, we can enable the knowledge base and then we can create a new knowledge base. And here we can select the vector store. Right now, only VV8 is present. We can select that and then the embedding model. Once we do that, we click on create and then our knowledge base is ready. Now we can open this knowledge base and we can upload our files. It accepts documents in the PDF, doc or text form. We can even give the website URL and it will automatically scrap the data from there and use it for the knowledge base, which is amazing. And what makes it more useful is the level of control we get. For example, the max number of pages we want to crawl on the website, then the max crawl depth 
which means how deep the crawler should go through website links. And then we have dynamic weight. Now this is a really important feature because now most of the websites have dynamic content. Now to scrape a dynamic website, we need tools like Puppeteer or Browserless. But all of that is being taken care of by Lizer. All we need to do is define how many seconds should we wait for the website to load. We can even give the raw text over here and this will be used as a knowledge base. Next, we have two types of memories, short-term memory and long-term memory. Now our agent may have a requirement to store the memory. If you are building a chatbot kind of agent, then you would want to store the memory or the history of the conversation. Here we have control to enable short-term memory and long-term memory. Short-term memory retains contextual memory for the last 10 inferences. But if you want to retain even more messages, you can enable long-term memory. The problem with storing a long conversation history is that all of that conversation is passed to LLM in every request. And as that conversation grows, the token usage increases and it takes more time to get our responses. Now the way to optimize it is by storing the summary of the conversation beyond a certain number of messages. And that's what Lizer is doing here. Then we have an option to enable humanizer. It tries to sound like a human. Next, we have options for responsible AI and safe AI. And this is what makes Lizer AI special. In responsible AI, we have reflection which enables the agent to reflect on its responses and improve accuracy. You can think of it as a feedback mechanism, which is used by the agent to improve its responses. Then we have two more options which are coming soon. The groundedness, which ensures responses are grounded in provided context and knowledge. And then context relevance, which maintains relevance to the conversation context. And finally, we have safe AI. We can enable fairness and bias, and it will monitor and reduce the potential biasness in the responses. And then toxicity check. It will monitor and prevent toxic or harmful content. OpenAI by default may have some level of safe AI and responsible AI introduced on their side, but here you get more control. And especially if you are using open source models, that's where these features become really very important. Let's quickly create an agent and see it in action. I'll give it a name as Cosmic Travel Planner and a short description. I'll select LLM provider as OpenAI and then LLM model as GPT-4 O Mini. I'll define the agent role as you are a highly experienced travel consultant specializing in family-friendly itineraries worldwide. And then let's give agent instructions. When responding, speak in warm, friendly and helpful tone. Provide specific travel tips, recommended itineraries, local cultural insights, and safety considerations. Avoid explicit, offensive, negative content, etc. Here we can add a couple of tools, for example, email. And if we want, this agent can send the entire itinerary on our email. For now, I'll not attach it. And then let's give one example. Which are the best kid-friendly destinations in Italy for a four-day trip? Agent example can look like this. Here's a custom four-day itinerary packed with cultural, historical, and fun activities that both kids and adults will love and then day wise breakup of the itinerary. Let's enable short term, long term memory and humanizer. Then let's enable reflection and in safe AI, let's enable fairness, bias and toxicity check and then click on create and our agent was created successfully. Now there are multiple ways of using this agent. If we want to embed this agent in our existing code based project, we can click on Agent API and go to Inference and copy the curl from here and convert it to the corresponding HTTP request. The other way is launching it as an app. So we can click on this and confirm. And here we can give this app a name, a description of what this app does. And then we can launch it either in the private mode or in the public mode. If it's launched in public mode, anyone else can use it. Of course, they will pay for all the conversations they'll have from their account and then click on launch app. And now our app is visible here. We can open this and this is what we see. Now we can chat with our agent over here. Now let's ask it a question. We are a family of four with two kids aged eight and 12 planning a four day trip to Italy. Can you propose a fun itinerary that balances sightseeing, local culture and kid friendly activities? And let's see how it goes. And we got our day-wise itinerary. It has broken down all the days by morning, lunch, afternoon and evening. 
I think the itinerary looks well crafted and precise. Now for teams that want full control, there is also the Lizer SDK. With just a few lines of code, you can spin up agents locally. No separate web UI is required. Now this is perfect for developers who want deeper customization, CTOs and CPOs who need to integrate AI features right into their existing applications. And here's the best part. Lizer runs on your private cloud. That means no sensitive data leaves your environment, helping with compliance, data security, and low latency needs. I think Lizer is offering a solution that's reliable and secure from day one. It's trying to solve the problems that are mostly overlooked by the other platforms, like safe and responsible AI. The current list of tools, LLMs, and vector databases is not that exhaustive, but I think they'll keep on extending that list in the future. Let me know in the comments what you think about Lizer AI. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.